again and welcome to another five minute fly the wing in flight maneuver video. On a nice calm day, a three point full stall minimum airspeed low energy landing is a beautiful thing. But if you have any sort of crosswind in a tailwheel airplane like this Cub, you'll be glad that you dialed in your wheel landings. Let's go down to Brownfield and try a couple and then I'll show you a couple common wheeler errors. So the pattern and approach for a wheel landing is identical to a three-point landing. The fun starts when you get it down near the runway. So I am going to keep a little uh, airspeed. You have to bring some energy to the runway in a wheel landing or you're not going to be able to keep the tail down. The center of gravity in the tailwheel airplanes is behind the main wheels. The tail is going to try to come down unless I keep a little airspeed and a little uh, energy in there. The whole point of this, and we've got a nice displaced threshold here on 2.6 left, is a minimum descent rate. So I really want to slow that descent rate down, get it over the runway. We do have some wind here today, about 8 or 10 knots, but it's pretty much right down the runway. So on short final, in case I have to do a go around, I'm going to turn carb heat off. I'm keeping a little power in, not quite at my 65, but I'm just holding it off as long as I can. Hold it off, hold it off. Hold it off, and when I kiss it on right there, power comes back, stick goes forward. It's a negative angle of attack. I'm trying to keep the tail up. When I feel the tail come down, I'm going to bring it back decisively and get that tail. That's the gray area right there that you want to be real cautious of. So the whole point of this wheel landing is minimum descent. I want to get it down to the runway and hold it off as long as I can. When I kiss those main wheels on, I go stick forward, negative angle of attack to keep it planted on the runway. Turn carb heat off on short file in case I need to go around. And this is where I need to bring some energy in. So I am going to add a little power here so I can get to the runway and also so I can keep that tail up. Center of gravity is behind the main wheels. It's going to try to bring that tail down, and I'm going to try to keep it up. I can do the slightly tail low or high like I am now, get it to the runway, hold it off, I'm looking down five or six stripes, hold it off as long as I can, I still have some power in, I kiss it on the runway, and go stick forward. A little bit of a left crosswind there. Now I wait until I feel whether the energy of the tail, once I feel that tail start to come down, there it is, I come back, all the way, stick is in my lap, I gotta keep that tail wheel on the ground now, and you can see that gray area in the middle there that creates a little bit of anxiety in wheel landings. All right, so on this one, I'm going to show you, I'm going to try to make an intentional mistake, which is to bring the tail down too soon. And you'll see if I do that, the angle of attack increases. I'm still, if I do it too soon, it means I still have energy in the form of airspeed, and the plane's going to take off again. I'm going to take carb heat off on short final. I'm coming in. Everything looks good now for a wheel landing. I get it down to the runway, I hold it off, I hold it off, keep the tail up, there it is, power comes back to idle, and then I bring the tail back, plane takes off again. Now I'm in no man's land there. So you see what happens there? You go around. No good can come of that. I'm going to start a porpoise, and I'm going to start uh, bouncing all over the place. So you got to wait till the tail loses energy, it starts to come down on its own, and then you just help it along and bring the stick back into your gut and plant that tail wheel on the runway. Don't get in a hurry to bring the tail down if it still wants to fly. All right, so in this wheel, I'm going to show you another common mistake, which is too fast of a rate of descent, not holding it off. If I let the wheels touch with a pretty high rate of descent, it's going to bounce and it's going to go back into the air. When it does that, it's going to go from being a ground-based vehicle to a flying airplane again. So watch what happens. I'm keeping way too much airspeed in here. It's kind of hard once you get these dialed in to go back and do them intentionally wrong. <laughs> we'll see how this works. I'm bringing some airspeed to the runway. It is a right crosswind here, so this should be fun. And in theory, I should land on that right wheel first. So again, I'm trying to keep too much power in. I'm in a hurry. I'm trying to get down there. I've got way too much airspeed. I'm going to come in. I'm going to land. I've still got power in. There's my right crosswind. Because the wing is not stalled, it just takes off again and begins flying. It's no good. I wouldn't be able to hold the airplane on the runway under control when it still has energy to fly. 
fly safely, fly often, and fly a tailwheel once in a while if you can, and really work on those wheel landings with a good tailwheel instructor. I'll see you next time for another five-minute fly-the-wing in-flight maneuver video.